Hello there. Today I am going to introduce you to a free clinic management software. This is based on Microsoft Access 13, which means you will need Microsoft Office 13 or above installed in your computer to use this. This is going to be a short demonstration video. Uh, what I'm going to do is that I'll use one example of a patient and uh, how you're going to manage that patient's data as he walks into your clinic and until his last appointment. So um, let's fire it up. When you double click on the CDDV file, you will be presented with a login screen like this one here you can see the logo but in downloaded version this logo will not be there the default username and password will be admin here i'm putting my username and password what you have to input is username admin and the password is also admin you can use the show and hide button to see the password and hide it again if you have trouble inputting the password and as you can see there is no other way in except putting in the password if you click outside of that field nothing really happens if you close the database it closes entirely and the only way you can get in is by inputting the password so it's a valid login screen uh, the, this is the home screen you can see on the left side there are some menus options through which you can operate the database and on the right side there is a little clock with the list of today's patient so let's start with this add option we'll use a uh, hypothetical patient let's say John Doe we'll use his example to see how the database really works uh, so if you click on add the first menu you will be presented with a form uh, patient details in this uh, there will be a unique patient id which will, which will be auto generated you don't need to put in anything there uh, let's input a little details about the patient his name first name and last name age you don't need to fill the whole form uh, at a go you can fill up as many as you want and left the others for later on let's give him an email address john at gmail.com that's fine Now, uh, walk-in date is an important feature. Uh, I strongly recommend you enter the walk-in date. That means the day patient entered your clinic because this information is going to show up in many places. Let's save it up. The, the, uh, the software will ask you if you want to save the new changes. Every time you make a change, you will be asked to confirm it. Now, the patient is registered in the database now two things can happen from here on either the patient will uh, get out of the clinic after the consultation in which case you can close it up or hopefully the patient will do some procedure in which case you will use this schedule option in this schedule option you can um, insert any procedure uh, and the payment the patient is doing if you click it you'll be presented with a little form uh, appointment date will be today's date you can use the date picker on the right side click on the date picker and select today or any other day uh, in this case the patient walked in in 13 so you put in 13 let's say john did a filling on his tooth number 26 and he paid say uh, 1000 
save it again confirm now if you want you can provide the patient with uh, a cash receipt for this single appointment if you click on this print button it will generate a clean and nice looking cash receipt two copies one is for office use and another is for providing the patient if the patient wants the receipt you can provide it you can pay through cash check, or debit card whatever let's close it now both uh, the walk-in date and the patient is registered and there is a details about the appointment uh, now if we click this database option we can see that john is appearing here and you can also search him by name if you type john and click search you can see john is here and if you go uh, obviously uh, after that patient is going to want the next appointment hopefully and you can provide the next appointment from this patient's details form let's schedule him for uh, 17th okay now the patient is registered and uh, has done a procedure and have an appointment now where do we look for this new appointment as you can see right beside this database option there is another option called schedule the schedule menu look exactly like database only instead of text here is a date picker that means you can put inside on the date format so you put in any date and click search and you can see which patients have been scheduled that day uh, you can find John or whatever patient you have scheduled on the 17th now when the date here turns 17 John is going to show up here uh, at the end of the video I'll show how that's done or how that happens the next option is invoice oftentimes patient might want an invoice a total uh, grand total receipt of what the procedures and payments was uh, now you can provide a patient with invoice from uh, with two ways uh, either through this invoice menu or from the patient details form I'll show you the both ways uh, so let's say John wants uh, an invoice but uh, let's give him another another appointment let's do a root canal on him on the 17th uh, let's say he came back on the 17th and did a root canal root canal on tooth number 46 and paid say 4000 taka and then he thought that uh, let's say he didn't doesn't need any more treatment and again you can give him another receipt for that exact uh, appointment or you can give him an invoice for his entire uh, treatment you can use this bill option here you'll see that two of his appointments are showing up here and if you click print invoice you can see that there is a nice uh, clean looking invoice showing up you can print this this is formatted in standard a4 you can provide this invoice from this invoice menu too just double click on the name and print invoice either way works fine whatever you are comfortable with the next menu is uh, analytics now here you cannot actually do anything this is just a data visualization tool to see how your clinic is doing financially over the time uh, you can see last week last month there are six tiles and four uh, graphs uh, the first three tiles will show you uh, how you performed last seven days the number of appointments number of new patients and amount of cash inflow 
and the second three tiles they will show you how you did over last month the other four graphs are also patient and appointment and cash inflow but I'll explain those later the next option here is prescription now this is just in case you run out of prescription or you want to print a, a custom uh, advice of a patient for example if you click on John on the left side you can search search a patient and uh, click on his name and it will generate a a four size prescription with the patient's name uh, age etc printed this is also formatted in a4 standard a4 size on the right side you can find the number uh, few advices menu uh, if a patient has root canal, he only needs advice for root canal. If a patient is doing denture, he only needs advice for denture. You don't need to print them all. In John's case, he had a root canal last. So we can print advices for root canal on the back of his prescription if you want. Um, let's close it up. The next menu is expenses. It's to uh, track how much you are spending on your clinic uh, you can see there are several options here you can put in on which date you are spending the money for which month uh, rent assistance salary cleaner salary electric bill and utility bill if you purchase anything and if you purchased anything what did you purchase you can specify almost everything here and this list actually coming from our inventory list which is the next menu in your list i'll show you that in a bit and if you repair anything everything really and uh, that expense will also show up as a graph in this analytics page uh, for example let's see the analysis page for a uh, little while uh, as you've seen earlier here is a graph for your cash outflow. This graph is for your cash inflow. This one is appointment, and the top graph is patient inflow. These two graphs are. The next menu is inventory. If you click on it, you can see six options. Uh, you can add an item to your clinic. Uh, if you can add a vendor from which you bought the item. This is the master inventory. Let's see the master inventory uh, at a glance. Uh, you can see the list of things I have in my clinic. You can add them via category. Uh, you can see the list of vendors here. So, uh, I bought all these instruments from these six shops. Uh, when you check it, you can add an item. Uh, you can specify the vendor, or you can uh, add a new vendor while before adding that item. Uh, it will be wise to add the vendor first and then the item. Uh, in that case, uh, the vendor will show up in this uh, pull down menu. So if you have bought something, first add the vendor, then proceed to add the item. And you can use this increase and decrease button when you discard an item and uh, increase when you buy new. In that case, uh, the database will automatically calculate how much you are, have left. So when you use this restock item, by default, it will show the list of things that are running low. As you can see, these things are uh, running low. I need to buy these items. 
as soon as I can, depending on the number of uh, item I need. So in my case, I have specified to three. So if any item is uh, present below the number of three, it will show up in gray stock. Here is a uh, menu back door. As you can see, this this looks like doesn't look like a Microsoft. Uh, program because there is no toolbar or any other option pre present this looks like just another software because I have hidden those options with this back door menu you can uh, bring back those uh, typical Microsoft menus for example if you click uh, if you want to see the navigation bar or top ribbon you can use this if you click show top ribbon you can see the top ribbon is appearing if you click the navigation pen these are things you need to edit when you want to change something on this database if you're fine with it leave this hidden it will be easier to use the change credentials as you can see this gives you a big red warning uh, if you must remember this username and password if you forget this you will be locked out of the system without any way to get in and uh, there you can recover the data but it's very tricky if you change it it gives you another warning you must save it because if you forget this you will be locked out okay so um, what about this today's patients list let's see we gave john a lot of schedule let's say what if john had a schedule today what will happen then? Uh, let's give john a schedule today Save it. Yes. so when the schedule date appears what will happen is that John will show up in our home page. Let's see. We have to log in again. Let's put in the password. And log in. You can see John. Uh, the time should appear here. Oops, we forgot to specify the time. Uh, we, we can fix it. Let's, let's give John a uh, time specific schedule um, let's go to database find John yes. uh, we need to give him a schedule on uh, 430 okay 430 it is save it close close exit now when we log in we will see john and when he's scheduled when exactly uh, the list will be uh, in a descending order of time so you can see which patient comes up to which as you can see 4 30 pm john this way when you fire up the database at the beginning of your clinic you can see at a glance which patients are scheduled today Hopefully that will make the job easier. And when you click exit, it will log you out, uh, just like any other system. And the close button will close the database. Uh, I must mention something here. Uh, I am not a professional. I learned access from scratch myself. Uh, building this database was the first my my first project so uh, there might be some bugs here and there uh, please let me know if you find anything uh, i'll be very grateful thank you